Revolution, this is Brother Lynn of the Truth Seeker, and it's time for a few minutes of truth. I have been asked by so many and so many words, why do you expose the problems of the church without offering any solutions? I would like to attempt to answer this question. Number one, the exposure of the problems within the church is long overdue. I didn't create the problems and it's not up to me alone to provide these solutions. I am not that egotistical to think that my solution will fix a 1700 year problem. It is also difficult to find those in, antiqu in antiquity, excuse me, who recognized the problems occurring and did anything about it in their time. Number two, it took God 4,000 years, 4,000 years in scripture to prepare the way for his son, Jesus Christ to come. And the Hebrews still weren't ready. This church institution has about 1,700 years of mess that we have to sift through. But people want that fixed overnight in a series of Facebook statuses and YouTube videos. Number three, we cannot get to the solution with false teachers and false prophets and false doctrines and their followers in the way, which is why I will continue to expose those who propagate their dangerous doctrines uh, and we have to continually strip away their fallacies in order to get to the truth. Number four, along with stripping away of the fallacies, there must be a continual retraining, rethinking, and repenting that needs to take place in order for us to just accept the truth. So until, and my final point, until we can get through points number three and points number four, we can't even think about a solution. Many of those who've asked the stated question is still not ready to receive any solution. Because if they read through my statuses, my blogs, watch my videos carefully, one can see the solution as plain as day, which is to follow Christ's example in Scripture, period. Follow Christ as your example in Scripture. That's the solution, really, but we can't get to that. So if you're asking, if you're one of the ones that's asking this question of me, you need to realize that you are in fact a part of the problem because you have continued to allow your false teachers, your false prophets, give you all this false doctrine mess. You refuse to open your mind to the real truth. My questions to you are, can't you see the problems? And if you do, are you willing to stand up and do something? If you can't see the problems and or do something about it, then please don't hinder me from accomplishing my task. My job is not to convince you if you're not ready to receive the truth that I bring. My job is twofold. Number one, to help those who are ready for this truth find this truth. And number two, is to leave a legacy of this truth for generations to come. Now, hopefully, this answer to the question of why do you expose the problems of the church without offering any solutions is complete and suffice for you. I want it to be crystal clear. I am constantly thinking about a better church. A church that is free from all forms of manipulation, all forms of fear, all false doctrine and idolatry. 
I'm constantly thinking of a church that is totally focused on Christ as head, as his bride, waiting for him to marry and void of every last man-made tradition. This is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, bringing to you a few minutes of truth. Revolution. Revolution. This is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker. Thank you for viewing this video. If you like this video, let me know by leaving a comment and clicking that like button. Also, if you do like what I do, Please subscribe to this channel and share this video and others on my channel on your social media. If you want more information on what we do within the Church Folk Revolution, go to Facebook.com slash the Church Folk Revolution, all one word, the Church Folk Revolution, and join the movement. Once again, this is Brother Leonard, the Truth Seeker, Revolution.